Hi, my name is Becky Crook. Um, I graduated last year, December of 2013, with a Bachelor's of Science in Environmental Studies. Um, I chose to focus um, on plant ecology and local food systems as a student. So through a lot of my studies, I became increasingly um, aware and interested in local food and local food production. And so I found this KU student farm, which was probably the most formative pathway that I took in college. Um, and the people that I met and just like the importance of that organization in my own personal growth and pathway was just astounding for me. Um, it offers a space um, in North Florence where students can go and learn how to grow your own food, grow organically and grow with other people. Um, there's, a, there's a pretty sizable community garden out there and that's what I did um, for two years. Um, I became an officer of the organization and helped organize fundraisers and helped organize work days um, and really just took just took it and ran with it and really developed my leadership roles and it really just developed this passion that I'm still continuing today. Environmental studies is such a broad topic that it's really important to be able to take classes from many different fields in order to meld this pathway that you want to take. So one of the things that I really loved about the environmental studies program is the freedom to take classes from different disciplines. Um, I took a lot of classes that were in the biology department, um, plant ecology, ecology and evolutionary biology, within the environmental studies department, ethnobotany, and the permaculture class. Uh, so I did um, a year of independent study with Kelly Kincher in the environmental studies department, and I focused on prairie restoration. And so I did a semester of study focusing on what happened to the tall grass prairie, um, the native ecosystem here in northeast Kansas. And then um, I studied prairie restoration and what we can do to restore the prairie that's been lost. Um, through one semester of my studies my senior year, I was an intern for the Native Medicinal Plant Research Garden, which is on the same land as the KU Student Farm. And so that is an area where there are large beds of medicinal plants that are grown on that space, including a lot of butterfly plants. So there's a monarch way station out there, meaning that there is a good diversity of flora for native butterflies to go and have host plants and feeding plants. And it's a really beautiful space that has a lot of diversity of insects. After graduation, I started coordinating the uh, community garden in Ninth of Mississippi, the Lawrence Community Garden Project, which is actually the, lo the oldest community garden um, in Lawrence. And it offers a space for any community members to come and grow food, including students. And so we've been working to develop a partnership with the KU Student Farm after my graduation so that we can have a space closer to campus where people can learn to come and grow their own food um, locally just right down the hill. So at the Student Farm, there is um, a community advisor role. So as I've graduated and have moved on, I am still a community advisor. I attend meetings and I help. I still help organize and educate. Um, there are folks that are community advisors that um, are graduated students, people who were never students, but people who are, who are leaders in the community and know a lot about growing food and know a lot about education. Um, so there's this multi-generational um, community out there that's really aimed to just to help people um, get involved in growing their own food, which I think is very important for um, communities to be able to know where their food comes from and be able to do it together. I've never found a way to connect with people in that way and it really changed my life. So that has really been the most formative experience for me in college.